Namaskar, I am Dr. Ankit Parak and I am a specialist for respiratory problems, allergy problems and sleep related problems for children. I work at Children's Chess Clinic, New Delhi. So, this educational video is regarding a common condition which we see in children and this is called as sleep terrors or night terrors. So, what are sleep terrors or night terrors? Now, in sleep terrors or night terrors, the child after going to bed, after a few hours of going to bed, the child suddenly wakes up. And after waking up, the child starts screaming, the child is very agitated and the child is very frightened. Now, in addition to these uh, features, the child can have increase in the heart rate, increase in breathing, the child can be very sweaty. Now, during these episodes, the parents really get panicky that what's going around with the child and what should we do about it. So, these are episodes which are called as sleep terrors or night terrors. Now, occasionally, children who have sleep terror or night terror can also move out of the bed. Uh, and can go to the other room or the balcony and then it is associated with something known as sleep walking. Now, if the child has sleep terrors or night terrors, then what we need to do and what we don't need to do. So, if the child has sleep terrors, do not try to wake up the child because the child is actually not technically awake. The child is actually still sleepy and the child does not remember what's happening. Do not panic. Just calm the child and try to make the child go back to the bed and go back to sleep. Now, since there is complete amnesia which means the child does not remember what has happened, do not discuss with the child what was happening the previous night. Now, what we should do, we should just calm the child and let him to bed and sleep down again. You should try and consult your sleep specialist regarding uh, what is happening to the child. Now, do we do further investigations? So, usually a classical sleep terror usually does not require many investigations. Now, occasionally, if we have a doubt about the diagnosis, if we aren't sure about the diagnosis, then we might do something known as a polysomnography or a sleep study, which can help us to understand the issue much better. But usually, if, if, if the history is clear, nothing else is required. Now, what happens, what happens to these children later? So what has been seen is that gradually with age, the number of sleep terror episodes reduce and gradually children pass off this phase. Occasionally, around 10% children might still have the problem of sleep terrors into their adolescent or teen years. Now, in general, uh, we do not need many medicines for this. As I, as I said, uh, this usually does not harm the child but occasionally if the number of episodes are uh, too many and if it is leading to psychological problems then occasionally medicines are used. So if the child has problem of sleep terrors please consult your sleep, uh, sleep specialist and for more information you can log on to our website ankitparak.com.